All right, hey you guys, what is going on? GI Geo Gamer here, and today we are back with a brand new video. Today we are doing some more StarCraft 2. Um, I've tried to record this video twice now and had stuff mess up both times. So we're just gonna go ahead and fast forward through the beginning. Uh, I did a standard hatchery uh, gas pool build. He just played his standard uh, single um, warp gate or um, gateway. All right. Now that we're about here, I'll slow things back down to normal. Uh, anyway, as I was explaining in the previous two videos I recorded, um, the reason I did not have a video out yesterday was, uh, yesterday my eyes were really messed up, like I, I really stressed them out Saturday, and so my vision was just like, I don't know, I was having trouble focusing yesterday, and um, I don't know, like, I, tr I played one game of StarCraft yesterday, and my eyes just hurt so bad I couldn't play anymore. Um, but today we have a video out ZVP. I have a lot of videos planned out. I want to do a good mix of ZVZ, ZVT, and ZVP, all different races. Um, so I do have those planned out. So you should get a good variety in the near future. Uh, in this video, you know I don't play perfect. I believe I floated a good amount of resources quite often, uh, but it was still a really interesting game. So I figured I'd show you guys, you know, what was up. So as you can see, I'm just making my standard four lings. He's making an adept in his mothership core. Uh, I have queens coming out from both of my buildings, just droning up. Um, I did go ahead and take uh, zerg speed, obviously, zergling speed. And uh, so we just have our inject queen. Uh, our second queen is out now. I believe I use this to drop one. Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, drop one. Uh, what are they called? Uh, no, they're not a spore. One. What are these things called? Creep tumor, yeah, 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 that's what I'm looking for. Uh, I always do that with my second queen. Uh, I start with one creep tumor. Now this is where things get interesting. I see this drone, right, and I send out my zerglings because I expect him to go ahead and do a bit of a cheese or a proxy or something like that. But he just sent his drone away. Now then I see the blue moving across the map, which I believe is an adept and his mothership core, if I remember correctly. And he has something building. So I have four links at the time. I'm making four more. I would go and take out the adept. That mothership core is really hurting. We're going to lose one of our links, take damage on our last link. We have four more on the way. Now, notice my production bar, right? Two flipping roach warrens on the way. I do actually counter this oracle really well. But two roach warrens, right? Um, two. Two roach warrens, and I already had a roach warren. I meant to throw down double evo changer chamber. As you can see, I have a lot of minerals floating right now. It's pretty bad. I meant to throw down double evo chamber, and I threw down two more roach warrens. So I ended up with three roach warrens in this game. Um, I'm just gonna wait until you like y'all see that I notice. I did make a lot of lings. I took out the adept. I went for the pylon. Stupid noob mistake. I was getting shot from the pylon. You know, photon overcharge and the oracle and the mothership core now i believe no i don't snipe the oracle here uh, i thought i might but i didn't now i just make a lot of lings if we look at our drone count i only have one more drone than him but um he is kind of like moved out across the map as you can see he only has one adept and two oracles i don't like he was floating a lot of resources this game as well he's um he's floating a lot right now now this queen is fighting the mothership core um and i just have it targeting that Send the zerglings out. The lings go ahead and take out that pylon, I believe. Um, now, this is where things were pretty interesting. So, I just kept targeting down that mothership core, and I did actually manage to get it. The queen died right after. Uh, so, we're just making more lings, a couple roaches. I have roach speed coming. I'm just making as many queens as I can. He has the double oracle. I need them. He does start up another mother mothership core, and as you can see right here, I realize crud. I made two roach warrens. So, I throw down the double evo. I throw down the hydroden. And um, he's just doing, uh, he's got a robotics facility on the way. Uh, he does decide to take his second, or his natural now. Uh, which, at this point, you know, I still have um, my second already, or my natural already going. And then I believe right here, yep, I start saturating up my bases, uh, filling them up with workers, take the worker lead again, which I should. And I start up my third base. Um, I do send my... Uh, lings down here just to scout things out and uh, but he he defended he had his mothership core and his oracles down there ready to roll um, so I just make more roaches I should have made more drones here I think uh, I know 
but you know I did I make my other gases want to get ready for that uh, still more queens on the way start up uh, plus one ranged and I believe plus one armor happens here pretty soon um, maybe maybe not I didn't really have much gas I should have taken my gases earlier for sure uh, but I do have creep queens I have my inject queens third base on the way and uh, you know a decent amount of army if we go ahead and look at army I have like yeah, double his army at this point and so we're just making more roaches waiting for our third base to get up so we can saturate it he's floating a lot of resources he wasted so many resources this game um, I'm morphing a couple overseers didn't want any dark templar shenanigans um, but we start a hydro production now because you know I saw the oracle or whatever now these two queens my creep queens I didn't move them back so they actually do die but I believe I believe they take out an oracle I had three of them they push up all right no his oracle backs out he has double oracle they both back out uh, so I'm just making Hydra like if this guy wants to push let him push for all I care uh, I should have started a plus one armor apparently I did not which was kind of a mistake he starts warping in the stalkers and immortals uh, that was what he switched to but you know I was totally okay for I already have hydras I just make a bunch of hydras bunch of links and we beat um, stalker it's pretty easy so uh, we're just spreading creep chilling I had a lot of minerals just wasted um, these bases weren't saturated didn't start up plus one armor till now that was a huge mistake he does snipe my overlord um, but we still have seven hydras on the way you know if he pushes across the map he's a dead man now I do still have I lost the worker lead I really should have droned up a lot more this game I have a bad habit of not droning up uh, I made eight lanes you know I was like alright let's get this party moving I'm sick of sitting here let's move out across the map make a bunch of hydras make a bunch of lings and then we start moving down across now we rally up our army to here we currently have nine hydra six lings and eight roaches to his three stalkers three adepts one immortal and you know his mortar ship core in oracle now I see he takes a space I believe he sniped another overlord so I push down I'm like all right I think we got this we you know we should be good we have all of our army look at this I was expecting an army this is what he has uh, I make my hydras focus down the mothership core then the oracle then the oracle you know our roaches and zerglings do the rest of the work I don't even go for the third I push right up into the natural and um, I snipe his pylon kill like two drones he ggs out that was a good game now look he had so many resources he had so many resources he only I don't know what he was doing he had three gateways three warp gates uh, I'm not really sure that's not enough and you should have had all warp gates or all gateways I think I don't know I don't really play Pro Protoss it was an interesting game though and uh, I was pretty happy with it I had one of my friends look it over give me a bunch of tips on what I could have done better but uh, it was a pretty good game overall and I figured I'd go ahead and share that with you guys so if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like subscribe down below as always more Starcraft content on the way again I do have all of my videos planned out for this uh, month so uh, it'll be a good mixture of Starcraft uh, with versus different races crazy craft and a couple other surprises as well so guys if you did enjoy i will definitely see you in the next one good bye